The Daughters of St. Paul, in collaboration with the Archdiocese of Palo, presents Sunday Gospel Reflections. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus again in reply he spoke to the chief priests, the elders of the people, in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. But some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to the servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord We are now on the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And at the same time, Today, this Sunday, is Indigenous People Sunday. Again, we thank the Lord for His Word proclaimed to all of us. Thank you, Lord, for nourishing us with Your Word. Remember, God's Word is food. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So let us be satisfied. Now for a starter, the kingdom of heaven is like a wedding feast. So heaven is like a feast. We all love feasts, parties celebration so we, we make sure that we all end up into heaven because heaven is like a wedding feast and more this gospel is the answer of the Lord towards the people who were so egotistic of themselves 
the chief priests, the elders of the people, the scribes, the Pharisees, the teachers of the law. This, this were the people in position. These were the people who thought they were righteous. But Jesus had another word for them. In fact, in the story, in our gospel, those who ignored the invitation of the king with many excuses and alibis are actually these same chief priests, elders of the people who were so self-righteous. This gospel cautions us to avoid this kind of attitude. The beauty of this gospel is the Lord's offer of salvation is for everyone. It is universal. God shows no partiality. He loves all of us and he wants us all saved. This is the very content of this gospel, the universality of salvation. We are all invited to be children of God, for indeed we are. We are all invited to be in heaven with God and to partake of this feast, this banquet, the heavenly banquet, which is the kingdom of heaven. But we should be mindful of one very important thing. When the king entered into the wedding hall, he saw a man not properly dressed according to their tradition. What is this wedding garment? We Christians, children of God, we are supposed to dress accordingly. And you know what our garment is? The virtues. The virtues we see in Christ. The virtues we see in the Blessed Virgin Mary. The virtues we see among our brothers and sisters in heaven, the saints. Love, kindness, generosity, mercy, fidelity, these virtues. You may be wearing the most expensive clothes available in the market, but that is not our primary garment, our primary clothing, our virtues. We ask the Lord that every day we live according to these virtues. Other than our garments, virtues, our good deeds. Let us be clothed with good deeds every day we do to our neighbor. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for always reminding us of our life here on earth. Thank you for the price you paid to make our inclusion at this great banquet even possible. Help us to always stick to our calling, which is to know, love, serve, praise, and glorify the Lord all the days of our lives. Amen.